Hey guys, it's Adam from Lucid Pixel, and although I did announce last week that I wouldn't uh, be able to produce any long videos for uh, for June because I'm moving at the end of the month, uh, so my whole house is up in boxes. Uh, today, during a session with my student from Russia, Kirill, uh, he uh, brought to my attention an absolutely awesome, awesome thing he figured out, and this is something that uh, that artists any digital painter out there could hugely benefit from. And it's kind of a, it's a variation and an extension of an already well-known technique that Bobby Chu tends to, te to teach a lot with his class, which is uh, to arrange a new window for an existing document. But what Kirill showed me today is how to have that other window show in grayscale. So you can work in color on your main window and work and have a grayscale preview sitting on the side that you can actually work on, which is like, Huge, huge, hugely cool, right? So I have it written down right here, right here. The first thing you want to do, <coughs> excuse me, is go into window, arrange, and new window for whichever one you're looking at. So this is for La Llorona. So I'm going to open it up. So we have a second window for that. And this is a second window that you can work in, right? So one of the, the difference between this and, for instance, the navigator, where's the navigator? I never use the navigator. The difference between this and the navigator, what the the frick you can see I never use it is that I can actually paint on this one so if I come in here I can actually come in here and paint if I can start a new layer whoop, and paint and it'll show up on both windows I can work back and forth big and small hugely beneficial but if you want this second window to be in grayscale you can see right here you're gonna go with your new window selected so make sure it's highlight in white as opposed to gray that means it's the active window you're going to view Proof setup right up here at the top, and you're going to choose the first thing, custom, like that. And then in here, in the device to simulate menu, you're going to click on the drop down menu and you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and choose S gray. Haha. -ha. Now, check it out. If I work, it's working in grayscale on one window and color in the other. Tell me that's not freaking beautifully awesome. Okay. And you can see a, a live grayscale preview of your work. Isn't that freaking beautiful? So again, a huge thank you to Kidid for giving me this, this uh, for, for figuring this out for me. He's one of those research gurus type of thing. And hopefully you guys get to benefit from this and use it in your regular workflow. I definitely will myself. And with that said, I love you all and I will see you next month. Take care.